Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you 5 features for macOS that you can get on Windows 10 and Windows 11. The first one will be dynamic wallpapers. Open the Microsoft Store and search for Win Dynamic Desktop. This is a direct port of the wallpapers for macOS. These wallpapers change with the time of day and change the look of your computer. Go ahead and launch it. Then here you can use your location or you can set your own sunrise and sunset times. Once you've done that, you can see all the different themes on the left. If you click on one, you can click the arrows on either side to see the different times of day. Some themes have more wallpapers than others. My favorite is the cliffs one, so I'll click on that and then click download and then apply. Once you've applied it, you can see it applied instantly. You can also change which display it's displayed on. You can also find more themes online. Some of them are free and some are paid. There's more free ones than paid ones. This application will always run in the background, so it'll automatically change based on time of day. It'll also start on boot. You can also enable night mode to show the night wallpaper. You can also change the lock screen image to match the one on your desktop. There's many options you can see by right clicking on the icon. The next one is iMessage on desktop. This goes hand in hand with my previous video, which I'll have linked in the cards called blue bubbles so this allows for you to use iMessage on your Android and on your desktop. You can install blue bubbles from the Microsoft Store and set up just as you would the Android app. Here you have to manually enter it instead of a QR code. You can find it in your Android app. You can sync all your messages just like you can on the Android app. Once it's complete, you can also see the settings panel looks very similar to the Android app version. You can even download the iOS emojis. There's also desktop specific settings. Here you can tell the app to launch on startup and be running in the background at all times so you'll always get your messages received. The next one is using mobile apps on desktop. This involves using WSA, Windows Subsystem for Android. First start by signing into GitHub on this webpage. Once you've signed in, you're going to need to fork the magic Magisk on WSA. This allows you to use the Play Store on your desktop. Once you fork the repository, go to the Actions tab. Then click I understand my workflows and then enable them. And then on the side you'll see Build WSA, then click Run Workflow. Here you can see multiple options. Select the x64 since we're running it on PC. I recommend leaving everything else as default. For the variant of apps, I recommend stock or full. Either one works. I will be removing the Amazon App Store. Then go ahead and click run and after about 10 minutes it should be done. Mine completed in 11 minutes. After it's done, click on Build WSA, then scroll down to Artifacts. Then you'll see a zip file you can download.
Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and unzip the zip folder. Open the unzip folder and then scroll down until you see install.ps1. This is a PowerShell script. Right click it and click run with PowerShell. You may need to restart your computer to enable the virtual machine platform. Just click Y to restart and then rerun the install.ps1 script. Once you see this pop up, click continue. If you see two windows, click continue on both of them. After a couple of minutes, you should see Magisk and the Play Store open up. Magisk is not required for you to use, but it is here to make sure that the Google Apps work. You can go ahead and close the Magisk window and just open the Play Store. Here you can sign in with your Google app. All Google accounts will work in this emulator. Once you've signed in, you can download any games and other apps. The app I'm going to be installing is Instagram. Once it's installed, you can see it opens in a portrait size window, just like on a phone. Once you've logged in, you can see it acts just like the mobile app. You can make posts directly from your desktop now and add stories. You can also see in the start menu, in the apps list, all your apps are here. So you can see Instagram I just installed, Magisk, and the Play Store. Next feature I'll be showing is Quick Look. This is a feature that allows you to quickly preview files in File Explorer. Just search for Quick Look in the Microsoft Store and then click Get. Once it's installed, you, you probably won't see a pop-up, but you'll see a tray icon once it's running. If you see the tray icon, it means it's enabled. You can go ahead and open File Explorer and click the spacebar just like you would in macOS. Next you can see here with some photos, you can just click the spacebar and the preview shows up instantly. This also works with videos and other file types. If you right click and then click find new plugins, you can also see that it has many more available plugins for office formats and other types of file formats. Here you can download them and then use add functionality to quick look. The final feature I'll be showing is Spotlight Search. This is a quick way to search in macOS by clicking command space or any shortcut you set. We'll be using Microsoft Power Toys on Windows to replicate that. Power Toys is a Microsoft made tool that allows extra functionality to Windows. It has tons of other features you can explore within the app, but the one I'll be showing off today is Power Toys Run. Here you can see it works just like Spotlight Search. You can even set your own shortcut in the settings. I'm going to be setting it to Control Space. 
go ahead and save that and then close out. You can see when I click control space, it shows up just like Spotlight. You can get web results and open apps from here. You could even do file explorer searches. So these are all the features I'll be showing off today. If you would like to see any more features from macOS on Windows, comment down below. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.